a pre-market update. It's just after 7 a.m. East Coast time for on August 5th. Uh, looks gonna be a bloodbath to start the week. Uh, we got the S&P futures down 43. Uh, the big story is China is retaliating uh, for Trump's tariffs. They have uh, basically halted, not or halted or slowed imports of uh, U.S. agricultural goods. They know that is one way to hit Trump hard because um, that's his base, farmers in the Midwest. If they're struggling, uh, that might make uh, Trump's re-election chances harder. Uh, the yuan also uh, broke through the seven level. Uh, a weaker yuan is, makes Chinese goods more competitive on the world stage. So uh, China is... Uh, as someone on Bloomberg said, the, the claws are out. They're not going to take this lying down, uh, and that's not good for global markets. So today we're seeing a clear risk off uh, trade. So we got uh, money coming out of equities, flowing into bonds. This is the 30-year Treasury uh, bond futures, trading at 160 um we got crude just down fractionally down 59 cents uh gold is above 1470 uh, another breakout here we have been bullish on gold for the past two months uh, we think gold and the gold miners are uh, one sector that uh, uh, we think our subscribers should have a, an overexposure to um, on gold we this was the area here that there was um, a lot of resistance once it got through this area uh, you see it consolidated here we're making another breakout uh, this is uh, definitely uh, bullish gold we think we will um, Go back to the previous highs above 1900 we will break through them and I think we are looking at 2500 to 3000 uh, over the next two years uh, for gold um, continue with the risk off theme you got the Japanese yen breaking out here uh, and also the the Swiss franc um, so we have uh, this part of the carry trade. So um, when there, we have risk off, money goes into the yen, into the Swiss franc, and that's what we're seeing right now. Uh, going back to on Friday's action, the big story was Afria, which came out with better than expected earnings. Uh, stock rose 40%, got the whole sector humming again. Um, if you look at most um, uh, cannabis stocks, they've been on a downtrend. Uh, most people are, a lot of people are in canopy growth. They can see here, we, on the recent, this year, our recent high is just above 52. We're at 32. So, you know, the stock's down $20. Been, uh, very bearish sentiment in the uh, marijuana sector. Uh, marijuana, it's typically buy the, buy the rumor, sell the news. Um, but I think we're getting ready here for a seasonal, pl seasonal, pl seasonal play. If you look at marijuana stocks over the last few years, we've always seen um, August has been, uh, the lows have been put in, then we get the run-up September, October, November, and that's typically, you know, election season. You get a lot of people talking about cannabis, that they're going to legalize it. There's referendums. Um, so um, we sort of get the buy the rumor, sell the news, uh, and I think that's a trade that people are going to be want to, wanting to look at. Uh, on Insider, our picks last week, um, we didn't have much. Uh, DRRX, uh, we put that out at $0.98. Cents. Uh, it ended the week on the high at $1.25. Uh, we think this one has a lot more room to run. Um, the problem is, if you get in here, where do you put the stop? Um, 
So we really, we really like to recommend for our subscribers to act on our recommendations when we issue them and not be chasing them, you know, a few days after the fact. So for our real-time alerts uh, via email and SMS, uh, go to signup.insiderfinancial.com and sign up, or you can sign up on any of our articles at insiderfinancial.com. We're going to try and do this every morning, uh, pre-market update to get you prepared. Uh, we have a number of uh, stocks we are looking at, um, and uh, all I can say is just watch your uh, email and SMS, and uh, good luck to everyone. As always, uh, trade with caution, use protective stops. Uh, read our full disclaimer. We are not investment advisors. Everything that we uh, uh, recommend and, and issue is our opinion, and we're opinion-based news sites. So uh, please consult your financial advisor if you have any questions. And uh, good luck to all, and uh, we'll be out here with, uh, with a new pick here real soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.